Well, we were told that we have to work the cities. So some of our institutions, like our churches, will be in the cities. And we are to work them, not by living in the city, but by visiting the cities. That is uh, quite a clear point. Now, who has been called to go out of the cities? Everybody. Everybody has been called. Is it possible for everybody to move at the same time in unison out of the cities? And the answer is probably no. So there will be people that are the ones that are in the cities till the very last moment. And it's possible that like Lot, they will be removed from the cities. And there are people that are not able to go out of the cities. What if you have circumstances that prevent you from going out of the cities? Or what if you do not have the means to go out of the cities? Well, God has asked those that have means to prepare the way. And we cannot selfishly just think of ourselves when we move out into the country. So, for example, if you, if you have secured for yourselves land, then make sure that uh, you don't only think of yourself, but prepare for a time when you will have to take people into your home and, and take care of them and help them in their circumstances. This is, this is part of our, our job. We're not supposed to selfishly just think of ourselves. So not everybody will be able to go out, but everybody that can go out should make an effort to go out but not in haste. You must ask God to open the door. And you must be sure that the door that has been opened is the door that God has opened. Because you might be able to rush out into the country and then not able to survive out in the country. So God has to open the way. And this is a very personal experience. You cannot dictate it to someone. But as you yourself stated, you have felt for a number of years now this urgency that it is necessary for you to move in that direction. And as you have stated yourself, that urgency has intensified and not been reduced. And, and that is a voice that is talking to you. And you have to ask yourself, whose voice is it that I'm hearing? And obviously, in my opinion, it must be the voice of God because it is in harmony with the word and with the spirit of prophecy. So you are trying to act on it. And God will open the way because he says, if you honestly want to do my will, then God will remove the obstacles. You will say to this mountain, depart, and it will. The mountain of difficulty will depart. Now, I've been into country living for a long, long time. And uh, not that it was necessary for me to go because of tremendous turmoil in the city or anything like that. But what a blessing it has been. And the other thing is I haven't stayed in the same spot because I have, I have a, a calling, for example, to go to a specific region to become involved in evangelism. And so I've moved in my country experience to a number of places and others have taken the place. But the interesting thing is more and more and more people were able to come up because of those initial first movements. And uh, <clears throat> I, find, I find that this is how God works. And if you set the example and people see, but you know, it is working. And people come and see, what are you doing? And, and how are you approaching this? Uh, you know, then they be, the bug starts biting them. And I see more and more people and I get, I get letters every single day and I get voice messages every single day asking me to pray for this one or that one or how must they move? Must they move there or must they move there? I can't tell them where to move. God must tell them where to move. But the fact that they want to do it already, 
That's very encouraging. And I think God's people are beginning, or at least those that are serious, are beginning to get the message. Mm -hmm.